This video has been sponsored by Nuage Networks. For more information on the Nuage Virtualized Services Platform and how Nuage is delivering consistent policy-driven automation across data centers, the WAN, and branch locations everywhere, please visit nuagenetworks.net and follow us on Twitter at Nuage Networks. We hope you enjoy the session. After watching this video, visit ipspace.net slash sdn to learn more about software-defined networking and overlay virtual networks. Welcome to another ipspace.net webinar. Today we are discussing scaling the overlay virtual network solutions. And with me today is Dmitry Stiliadis, CTO of Nuage Networks. Nuage is one of those companies that offers overlay virtual network solutions. They were kind enough to sponsor this webinar, but that doesn't mean that I will only talk about their solution. As you know, I always talk about technology, architectures, design guidelines, and today's webinar is no different. While I'll talk about the generic issues that you should recognize and consider in your product selection, architecture, and design, I'll obviously mention what Nuash is doing in this space. If we get a question that is product specific, Dimitri will be more than happy to answer any of those questions. Now, Dimitri, I know you are CTO of Nuash, but what have you been doing prior to that role and what are you doing today in this role? Uh, yes, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. I'm excited to be in this webinar together with Ivan that he's doing an excellent job explaining technology. Currently, I'm part of Nuash Networks. I'm the CTO and co-founder of Nuash Networks. We are focusing on solutions for the data center and enterprise space in general, and how can we use overlay networks and network virtualization in this area. I have been doing in the past several things in networking, all the way from building hardware for switches and routers to IT systems and security systems. And I'm very excited to be part of this webinar today and share with you whatever information you need about our technology. So up to you, Ivan. Thank you. I'm Ivan Pepelniak, and as you can see from this slide, I've been doing loads of crazy things in my life. Among all these crazy things, I've been deeply involved in networking for the last at least 25 years. So when I started, we were still running thick coax cables for Ethernet. In the recent years, I focused on large-scale data center and cloud solutions and they include network virtualization solutions, SDN, but also scalable application design and traditional things like core IP routing and MPLS. As I mentioned, today we'll focus on the scalability aspects of overlay virtual networking solutions, and there are a number of topics that one should consider when evaluating these solutions. I'm positive that I've missed one or two. So if you think I did, send me an email and I may do an add-on to this webinar. But these are at least some of the things that you should consider. And in this webinar, we'll go through them. First, the data plane should be fully distributed. You shouldn't have any choke points. Second, Sooner or later, you will hit the implementation limitations of whatever controller you're using. So if you want to have unlimited growth, you should have scale out control plane. Third, if you're building a large environment, then you want to have availability zones so that if your controller fails in one zone, virtual machines in other zones still continue to work. Next, as you grow, and you get the requirement to have more than 10 or maybe few tens of gigabits of connectivity between the virtual networking and the physical world, you will have to start considering hardware gateways. Then, when you start offering cloud services, and almost every orchestration system today offers so-called security groups, which are used to implement what is now popularly called micro-segmentation, you start running into problems when the security groups become large. I'll show you what the typical problems might be, what the typical solutions are, 
and Nuage has a pretty interesting solution in this space that I particularly like because it's based on BGP and MPLS concepts. You've seen on the previous slide that I've been a long time BGP and MPLS guys, so I like these two protocols, even though I think they don't apply to every environment or scenario. But anyone who is using them to solve large scale problems is obviously doing the right thing because, after all, the whole internet as we know it runs on BGP. Next, we'll talk about the stateful services and how you can scale them. You'll see that some stateful services are pretty easy to scale while others are almost impossible to scale. And then there are things in the middle where you can do some things which are not exactly scale out stateful services, but if you are creative enough, you can get reasonable performance and solve the customer problems while doing so. And the last topic I'll touch upon is service chaining, which is a huge topic for anyone deploying network function virtualization. Because in this environment, you usually want to have multiple independent services chained together to offer whatever you have promised to the customer. But let's start with distributed data plane. Here I already have the first question and it's totally valid. What about orchestration? I'll touch a little bit on the scale out orchestration challenges when we talk about availability zones. But from the overlay virtual networking scalability perspective, orchestration is somewhat out of the picture. For an overlay virtual networking environment, the gateway to the orchestration world is usually the SDN controller. I'll show you later on how that fits into the overall architecture. If we guarantee that the SDN controllers use scale out architecture and that they survive certain failures, that's the most we can do in the overlay virtual networking space. The scalability of the orchestration systems is obviously a totally different topic and I would never claim to be an expert in that one. But your point is absolutely valid. You should always start your cloud design with the selection of the orchestration system. So you should start with the first question, what services will I offer? How many users do I want to support? And then what orchestration system will meet these two goals? And from there on, you start designing the other components of your cloud, including the overlay virtual network. If you like this video, go to ipspace.net slash cloud to explore other overlay virtual networking webinars.